we are a finance and development company, so uh, much of our business is, is focused on the actual rollout of our opportunities. Um, there are a number out there at the moment that are exciting. Obviously, the National Grid Tender has excited the entire industry, so we, you know, we do have a we do have a clear focus on that. However, our, our prime business plan is is rolling out utility scale storage to a, a number of stakeholders. So that could be an energy supplier, a distribution company, a major energy user, um, or anybody that can make uh, significant savings or, or see a good benefit from storage assets. There's a lot more complexity in, in the business proposition for energy storage than compared to say solar and wind, which might have been linked to a feed-in tariff or something like that, where it's very clear kind of what the business model is and what the returns are. So I guess without giving us in the non-financial community a complete headache, can you maybe just run through kind of what these complexities might entail and what sort of things yeah. you might have to wrap up in a contract? Yeah, so I mean with with PV and with so wind, you've got long-term contracts. It's it's fairly fairly it's fairly stationary. It's you know it's quite passive. You have a contract, it generates an income. Your assets secure. It's paid for. And you generate some more income on top. With storage, there isn't what you know there isn't a one solution for that. So there does need to be a number of opportunities. Um, uh, uh, they are niche. If you're in the market, they're not. They are niche to, to people who are moving over maybe from, from the existing market. So where investors have worked in the past with solar and wind and created that, you know, had the opportunity of feeding tariffs and subsidies and rocks, trying to just transpose that into, into a new industry, which is actually a much more reactive uh, sort of you know, day-to-day -day role, um, is, is probably not as bright as easy as it sounds. So obviously there's a tremendous amount of excitement on what it can do ultimately for things like solar and wind, clearly. Um, but at the moment, is it a question of finding sort of niche applications that I guess are you know, really making the most immediate economic sense? Or? Yes, I mean, we need security for investors anyway. So whatever we do, we need to make sure that they see a fair return. Uh, it needs to be a safe, secure opportunity. So that needs to be a contractual, uh, and that needs to be in, in, in any way really, but it needs to be a, a, a safe and firm contract. Um, in terms of using it with renewables, uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice idea. Um, but yeah. to get it to stack up on its own at the moment, it's probably a bit difficult. We need a bit of bit of policy influence. We need a bit of a review. Uh, we need to look at how storage can, can work with a solar farm or, or a wind farm, um, and how it can benefit. At the moment, we see it as a, a number of standalone um, uh, income streams that, that we can stack over two, three, four, five years uh, to make to make the asset work. So when you say income streams to stack, I mean, you know, to people outside the industry, this might be a slightly new idea, but generally it's, it's assumed that kind of revenue stacking, which is combining multiple applications of a storage system, is really the best way to get a return on investment. Absolutely. So values and flexibility. Uh, the more flexible your asset is, the more you can make. And obviously with storage, you've got the, the, you've got the added benefit of taking in power as well as, as well as passing power out. So there's all the balancing schemes, there's all the ancillary services, there's all the tolling agreements that we've heard about today. We've heard from Roger and Adriana about the benefits to the DNO. There's supply side you know, opportunities and options there. Suppliers are starting to take a real interest in this. Good Energy we were talking about it last week. It, it's, it's a good place to be at the moment.